few months ago, I did a breakdown of the t-shirt that Kami wears in the TV show, The Bear. I had a lot of really great feedback and interest in that video, so thank you if you watched it. Another piece of Kami's wardrobe that I absolutely fell in love with was his jacket in season two. So in today's video, I'm gonna do something very similar. I've bought that jacket and I'm gonna go through it in detail, show you what it looks like on body, talk about the fit, and whether I think it's worth picking up. First though, just a little bit about the brand itself. The jacket is from a brand called NN07. They're based out of Copenhagen in Denmark, but the NN in their name stands for no nationality because as they say, they believe in personalities and don't like to separate people by nationality. The 07 stands for the year they were founded, 2007 of course. Their range of clothing looks incredible, a lot of top tier quality basics, along with some more standout pieces like Kami's jacket for example. So let's get into that. The jacket itself is called the Gale Checkered Jacket. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. The design is based off old stadium jackets and I'm not entirely sure what a stadium jacket is. Maybe I'm being thick. But I'm guessing it's something like a varsity jacket because that has that kind of vibe to it. The one Kami wears in the show is the brown check colour, but you can pretty much forget being able to purchase that one. Every time NN07 restock them, they sell out within minutes. The hype is very real as you can see from the resale prices. Thankfully they have two other colours which are really nice as well and are a bit easier to get hold of. There's a much lighter khaki check which looks nice but I ended up going for the sable check, which is basically black. I just liked the darkness of it, which is closer to Kami's jacket in my eyes. Although in retrospect, perhaps I should have gone for the khaki color because I do have a lot of dark jackets in my rotation at the moment. But anyway, I bought the jacket directly from NN07's website and it was not cheap. 429 pounds here in the UK, or if you're in the US, I think it's $650. So my expectations were already pretty high going into this, just because of the price, but also because Kami's character has very high standards in the show. It arrived nicely in a huge box, nothing too fancy, something like you'd get from End Clothing. Packaging obviously makes no difference to the piece itself, but sometimes with these higher value items, you get extra goodies, which is just nice. I went for a size small, which is what I'd usually go for with outerwear pieces. I'm five foot 10, around 140 pounds, and my initial impressions are that it fits me very well across the chest and shoulders, but it's ever so slightly snug on the arms, even when I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath. And this gets especially noticeable when I layer a sweater underneath. There's plenty of room across the chest, but the arms get quite tight. Keep in mind as well that I'm a pretty skinny guy, so if you're packing heat in your arms, this might be a struggle for you. I can see this being an issue with shorter guys who are a bit bulkier, because you may want to size up to accommodate for the arms, but then you don't want it to be too long. Oh, by the way, the rest of the outfit I'm wearing are the Dana Mountain Lights on feet, the Uniqlo Salvage jeans, and then just a plain white t-shirt on top from Uniqlo which I think is a very Kami-esque fit. The exact measurements for this size small is 21 and a half inches across the chest when laid flat and 26 inches from shoulder to hem. To be honest, the shape isn't my favorite because of that length. Somewhere around 24 inches shoulder to hem is usually perfect for me, but I can understand this might be too short for some people. And to be fair, it doesn't look particularly cropped on Kami, so I don't think that's the style they were going for anyway. Although I know that with the Murs B t-shirts, the designers on the show modified the length to make it fit in perfectly. So it's possible they did something similar with this jacket. In terms of materials and comfort, this jacket is definitely up there, but I do have a few reservations. I'd say it's about a mid-weight piece. It's definitely not thick and heavyweight, but it's not light and flimsy either. It would be good for fall and most of winter, especially with some layers underneath. Weirdly, one of the first things I noticed was how stretchy this was. When I lift and swing my arms around, I can feel the jacket stretching and bouncing back, which I suppose is good if you have bigger arms like I was talking about earlier, but I wouldn't want to rely on that stretch for it to fit me. It's made of a wool and polyester blend and you notice the wool straight away. It has that kind of rough texture to it, but it's not scratchy at all. It also has that lovely woolen smell, which is a weird thing to say, but I love it. The inner lining is 100% cotton. 
nothing too special, but it doesn't feel cheap either. It does say on the label that it's made from Italian fabric. I'm not sure if that's the wool, the polyester, the cotton, or all of them. It would be nice for them to clarify somewhere on their website. Even though some or all of the fabric is made in Italy, the jacket itself is made in Romania. I was kind of expecting to see it made in Denmark, to be honest, given this is one of their flagship items. It doesn't bother me, to be honest, but it just might have been a nice homage to the brand itself. On the other hand, they do sell themselves as being no nationality, so perhaps it's a moot point. The check pattern is a mixture of black, dark grey and light grey checks in a seemingly random placement. And actually, I noticed that my check pattern is different to the one on the website which is a really good thing as it means they're using unique cuts of fabric for each individual jacket and they're not all being mass produced off the same fabric pattern. It has two huge front pockets which are well placed and useful and it also has two hidden inner zip pockets which I almost missed because they're in quite an unusual location. They're a really nice addition though. Speaking of zips, the main front zip is a double YKK. It's in black, which is understandable, but I always have an issue with these colored zippers. The color tends to chip off after time because it is just painted on after all. And in fact, this one already looks to be chipping off a bit. So after a bit of wear, it'll start to look really beaten up, which is a shame. I find that the brass or chrome zips are best because they don't tarnish as easily. The double zip is always nice though, as it gives you more styling options. I have to say though, it's not a big deal, but at this price point, I'd usually be expecting to see some slightly nicer hardware, to be honest. These YKK zippers you can find on sort of cheaper H&M pieces these days. So what do I think of a jacket overall, and is it worth the price? I think it's a beautifully made piece from high quality materials from a brand that has a really good message. I think it has a very strange fit, but that's a very personal opinion as it pertains to my body shape. But at 5 foot 10, 140 pounds, I found the arms to be a little bit too snug and the body length to be a little bit too long. The price is very, very high and it's starting to get into that region where you could be looking at designer pieces from the likes of Ami Paris, which may be a little bit more considered in terms of fit and materials. I'm not sure of the history of pricing of this piece, whether they might have bumped it up due to the popularity of the bear, but it kind of feels like a two to 300 pound jacket, to be honest. However, I love the check design. It's really unique and definitely looks best in that brown color, which is impossible to get hold of, unfortunately. So I'm a little undecided on whether to keep this one or not. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have any of you got this jacket? And if so, what do you think of it? Or has this video convinced you to get it or avoid it either way? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.